Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a different mountain road that I've never driven before in one of my Moza Racing teammates, newer member to the Moza Racing family, TSC Cookie, and we're in his Infinity. We're gonna go rip it through the mountain roads. I haven't driven the car or the track, so it should be interesting. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So like I said, I have not driven this car or this track. So we're gonna go full send. This was his ESDA Infinity. Pretty off the rip, this car is extremely powerful. Trying to be nice and smooth. He runs a Moza R9 as well as a Moza Handbrake. We do have the Moza Handbrake with the R9 on right now and the RS V2 wheel. Jump off track. I think we're in the dirt there. Definitely a very, very fun car. Like I said, I have not had a chance to drive this car. It is available on Boston. I'll leave the link to the car as well as the track down in the description box below if you guys want to rip this car yourself. Big shout out to Boston for the community, for the drifting scene, for all, of course, all your drift needs. This road's actually pretty fun. Uh, it's kind of like a, if you screw up, you're dead road because there's no guardrails. Slowly getting up there. We can definitely come back the other way too, probably. This doesn't seem like it's a bit of an uphill. Oh. Have not struggled to find where my e-brake placement is recently. Oh my gosh. Kind of already adapted to where it is. That was way too early. Oh, that's the end. Okay, we gotta flip it around. Run trees! Sorry! Cookie. Oh, my bad. Sorry, dude. <laughs> now we're gonna rip it the other way. This is gonna be a lot more sketchy going downhill. I'm gonna have to manage uh, some of these turns that we still don't go sending it off the course. I also thought I was gonna tag that wall with the back bumper. Thing's got a very big rear end and a very big wing. A lot of downforce though. Definitely yeah, like how this car is handling these mountain roads. Oh my. That was a huge back and forth. This this road's actually really fun. Be fun to get on here and do some tandems. Maybe I can uh, wait a uh, cookie to get on here and we can do some uh, Moza tandems. Oh my gosh. A lot of left foot break. You know, surprisingly, driving this car way better than I thought I was going to. Does the road keep going? I think it might keep going a little bit. Oh, what did I? That was weird. <laughs> I feel like I caught something and hit something. I wonder how far the road goes this way. Oh, well. It's a very twisty road. <laughs> I think we just hit the end. What happens if we keep driving? We're we just gonna go off the face of the earth. Yep. Oh, okay. Now we uh, we're tripping out into space. Hit that pits button. So I do want to see if this 
has a good replay camera. Does not look like it has a replay camera. But I would really like to take a look at this run in box cam. We're gonna run this in box cam just to kind of see where we were at on some of this. Get the full effect of his car. Once again, I will leave the link everywhere down if you guys want to uh, download this car yourself and give it a rip for yourself. Definitely a very solid car. That's uh, no, you know, understanding why he did pretty well in ESDA this year. So, definitely going to be taking a look at a lot of competition cars here in the near future because I will be doing my new build for the 2023 year and have not fully decided what I'm going to do. I may do a pull up and uh, let you guys kind of pick what car I feel I'm going to do for the 2023 year. Um, I'm going to try and stick it to a car that might be a Kunos based car and modify it from the ground up. So we'll be definitely doing videos about that. I'm going to be using Blender this time instead of 3ds Max, which is more readily available to everybody else. So I will be doing stuff like that. So look forward to that here in the near future here on the channel. As well as some big things coming from Moza Racing and can't wait to get into that with you guys here in the near future. So we're just going to enjoy the sights and sound of this uh, nasty infinity out here on this mountain road. Yeah, we were pretty close to, I think, yeah, it was almost, almost a dirt drop, almost a dead drop in this map. We would have sent it all the way off. So if you guys like this video, you want to keep seeing more videos like this with other people's pro cars. Sorry about that one, Cookie. We are going to be possibly bringing back the driver spotlights. No, nope, go the other way. The driver spotlights, because you guys seem to like that when I did that stuff last year. So we want to start doing car and driver spotlights again with some more competition cars and things like that. So if that's something you guys want to see being brought back to the channel, let me know down below as well. Yeah, that car looks and sounds amazing and it drives just as good as it looks and sounds so I was very pleasantly surprised with being able to get behind the wheel of that that quickly and just instantly uh, kind of start throwing down with that car so I think that's going to do it here for this episode here in a set of course up once again a big thank you to you guys for coming back for another episode as always I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track.